Hi everyone and welcome to my video blog. Today we are going to talk about the stage fright. Please share your experience, make the suggestions, let's try to overcome this problem together. So with the stage fright as a performer musician I am dealing all my life and I'm very happy that I have found few little tricks that help me. And the trick number one is accept the fact that public performance is not easy. Just stop thinking that, oh, there's nothing special. I'm playing um, a Rachmaninoff second piano concerto tomorrow in the Royal Albert Hall. That's fine, I'll be absolutely great. No, don't think this way. It is a certain responsibility. Public performance for a big audience in a big auditorium, playing beautiful music, is a responsibility, and we have to prepare ourselves for this. This is why. The second point that I'd like to present is that see the public performance as an opportunity, as a happy opportunity that not everybody has. And see this as a challenge, as a healthy experience that will that is given to you to learn something. So if you overcome your stress, if you overcome your nerves, if you overcome your fears, you will learn a lot. You'll be stronger next day. And this is an important, important, important step in your personal and your artistic progress. Third point is um, the moment of selfishness. Very often we are afraid because we think, what are they going to say? How do I look? How do I behave? Are they going to criticize me? Are they looking at me? Is everything good with my hair? Is everything good with my dress? Don't worry about that. The looks and the old visual things is a completely different it's a completely different story. We're not here to be visually only. The classical music is a very profound art form and we have to be profound ourselves. We have to go into something more serious than just looks, just show, just an entertainment. It's more than that. So when you are performing, you have to see this also as an opportunity to share what you love and love towards the classical music is absolutely precious. Number four is um, seeing the uh, performance opportunity as a hard work because when you are um, playing a piano recital consisting of different pieces from different styles it's again it's your task it's your responsibility to show your professionalism to show the understanding of what you do so every single style requires different sound quality different rubato different pulse different dynamics etc 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 we learn while practicing how to define all that how to difference all that and um, how to make a difference in all that and even if you may if you perform only one piece even even if it's a short let's say um, a prelude and fugue by Bach ahead of you is a uh, hard work because before you begin you need to first of all think about the character of the piece right so you can't begin without being there without knowing what you where are you and why are you there then you have to think about such thing as a pulse of the piece. Keeping one steady pulse in the classically or in the classical or baroque music, and of course also later in the romantic and the, and the modern music and the impressionistic music, is very hard because we have a tendency of uh, losing the control, letting it go, and just see how it goes. But keeping a pulse already makes you very busy throughout the performance. Then, of course, as I said, it's dynamics. And dynamics is something that can change according to the venue where you're playing. So you are there performing, but you have to think of how is it going to sound in the very last row of the, of the venue where you are playing. And dynamics is also something has something to do for pianists with pedal, because we have to, depending on the acoustics, we have to adjust our pedal. So it's not the same acoustics in the same pedal we're playing in this room or we're playing in the Royal Festival Hall in London or in the Carnegie Hall in New York. So then, again, depending on the acoustics, we're changing or we are adopting the articulation. The very important subject is the sound quality because pianists are playing in a beautiful, beautiful instruments and the pianos, and if it's a grand piano, if it's a piano with a uh, wonderful sound technician that we can really 
create magic with the sound and it's a lot of work to learn that because the sound I wish one day if I have time I will spend one video blog telling you about my relationship with the sound of the piano of the musical instrument because I think that um, it's like with human beings voice you know you can say beautiful things but if your expression is unpleasant nobody's going to listen to you so this the quality of the sound is very important and of course the rhythmical clarity uh, paying respect to what's written in the score and also the indication indication of your intelligence is phrasing how are you going to phrase your sentence where is the stress of the sentence where is the climax of the sentence what is beautiful in what you want to say and why is it important and now if you put all this together you know the character the tempo the style dynamics articulation sound rhythm phrasing and again i want to say uh, emphasize the importance of the character if you put all this together you don't have time to think of uh, or is my hair okay it doesn't matter because you're busy busy of bringing this masterpieces alive and doing it as professionally as you can as convincing as you can as beautiful and as stylistically correct as you can so uh, my next um, very technical uh, advice is if you are about to perform or to speak as an actor a new monologue or to perform a new piece of music i recommend that you play it through uh, first of all to yourself but also you arrange a public a mini public performances for yourself it's easy to do a small house concert you invite your neighbors you invite your friends you invite your um, uh, family members and you just you just let them listen to you they maybe are um, not they're very far from the classical music it doesn't really matter their presence is important and if they love you they will be there for you the number two uh, technical advice is it's important that you record yourself nowadays it's really easy you record yourself and you listen to yourself and while listening you have to listen with the objective ear you have to pretend that you are a panel of the uh, competition jury and you have to really really be critical about what you do you have to analyze your performance criticize your performance and then after that practice with a new understanding of what what you are and where you are in your relationship with this piece and um, I think the conclusion of this is that while you're working on the style character and everything that I said before you create your relationship with this piece and you gradually fall in love with this piece and ideally what you'd like to achieve you have to you have to feel one day that you have composed it you know it so well that you know exactly what's going to follow and you know exactly why this particular harmony is there why this particular melody is there why the phrasing is like that and why the articulation is this way why the rhythm makes perfect sense and such and such so you have to be so close to the piece that you play that it becomes you and then the stage fright transforms into the artistic pleasure of the public performance so enjoy playing in public bye bye